Hey guys, what is up? And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 super useful hidden tips and tricks for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now these are going to work on both iOS 9 as well as iOS 10, and these are going to range from battery life to pretty much everything else to improve your overall experience. So with that being said, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified whenever I make a new video, and let's get straight into the video. Jumping straight into it, the first tip on this list is one for everyone who wants to be able to listen to YouTube music in the background of your device for free. All you have to do is open up Safari and go to YouTube.com and from here you can search for any song or artist and you can just tap on any song on YouTube or any video for that matter and once it begins to play you can exit to your home screen, swipe up on the control center and then tap play and it will begin to play in the background. Now this is a great way of listening to free music while you're using your phone. Also for anyone wondering, I am on iOS 9, however it also works on iOS 10 and it's a really, really good way of doing this since the normal YouTube app doesn't allow you to do this. Now a very useful life hack for watching videos everyone should know is when you're watching a video you can actually adjust how fast you scrub through that video. So for example, if I tap and hold right here where I scrub like normal, if I scrub it moves pretty quickly. However, if I drag my finger down on the screen and then scrub, you can see it's much finer and I'm able to move slowly. So this is a very useful trick to know when watching videos. So say you want to play some music before you go to bed, if you'd like to play music but you don't want it to continue on playing forever and draining your battery, but at the same time don't want to have to get up and turn off your music, I have a very simple solution. All you have to do is go into the clock app, tap on the bottom right on timer, select how long you want your music to play for, for example 10 minutes, then tap when the timer ends, scroll down to the bottom and you should see something that says stop playing. What you want to do is just tap on that and once you've done that, after that certain amount of time you've set, the music will stop playing. If you would like to delete a bunch of photos at once and you don't want to go through each and every individual photo and you want to save some time, what you can actually do is tap select in the top right, then tap on a photo and then swipe over all the photos you want to delete. You'll notice it will highlight them with a the check mark, then tap on the trash can and tap delete and boom, just like that, they're all gone. And this is really good because it's going to save you a lot of time in comparison to deleting each and every individual photo. Now an easy way to get rid of those really annoying ads in games without actually paying anything is to swipe up on control center and simply put your phone into airplane mode. Then double click on the home button and cancel out of the app you are using. Then once you've done that, exit to your home screen and open up the app again and you'll see all of the ads will magically disappear. Now the reason this works is because by putting your phone into airplane mode, it will block your internet connection so it can't load the ads. So obviously this doesn't work with online applications, but for offline apps this works extremely well. If you don't have much time but want to charge your phone and charge it up as much as possible before you go somewhere. What you can do is swipe up on Control Center and toggle on Airplane Mode. Now I'm sure quite a few people know about this, but this is something everyone should know and what this is going to do is it will block all cell signals, making your phone charge much, much faster. Next life hack is useful if you just want to type in one number while you're typing on your keyboard without switching keyboards. And if that's confusing, just watch this. So for example, say you're typing a message and you want to add a number to what you're typing, all you have to do is tap and hold in the bottom left right here and then swipe over to any number, let go and it will add the number to whatever it is you're typing. And then just like that it will take you right back to the original keyboard so you can continue on with your message. Next one, probably most of you know this already, but this is something absolutely everyone should know. So when you're scrolling to the top of a very long page like this one, it can take a very long time. So to save you time from scrolling all the way to the top, what you can do is just simply tap on the status bar just like that and it will instantly take you to the top of the page. Next tip is to use low power mode. And I know probably most of you already use low power mode when you have really low battery, but I'm saying to use it all the time because it's going to help save you a lot of battery. So to turn it on, just ask Siri to turn on low power mode and then you'll notice the little battery icon turns orange. And it's always better to turn it on when you have more battery instead of waiting till it's about to die because it will drastically improve your battery life. 
the tenth and last life hack on this list continues on with the theme of battery. And this is kind of an extreme method of saving battery, but it's good if you want to save every bit of battery you possibly can. Basically, you can actually make everything on your phone black and white. Now this is going to help save even more battery on top of low power mode. And to do this, what you want to do is go into settings, go into general, scroll down, tap on accessibility, and then toggle on grayscale. And just like that, everything will be black and white. Now this is system wide, so it works on all of your apps, and it's going to help you save a little bit more battery life on your device. Anyway guys, that about wraps up this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I hope you learned a few new tips and tricks for your iOS device. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.